If you're like me, you can't wait for someone to mention the boy who lived, because it's the perfect moment to share all of your in-depth wizarding knowledge. There are tons of delightful details, exquisite easter eggs, and interesting inside jokes hidden throughout the Harry Potter movies. We're pretty sure that you might know a few of these, but some of these will blow your minds. When Harry reveals that he's alive in the Deathly Hallows Part 2, George turns to excitedly tell Fred, who's normally always next to him. Snape's first encounter with Harry and his secret message. Tell me, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? The fact that Harry does not know the answer is unimportant. This is a coded comment that would be lost on all viewers who are unfamiliar with Victorian era flower symbolism. According to the Victorian flower code, asphodel is a lily that represents death, whereas wormwood represents loss and absence. Snape is referring to Harry's mother Lily with this remark. In the Harry Potter films, Voldemort's robe is faded in color every time a horcrux was destroyed, to give the impression he was slowly fading away. In Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, you can see a portrait of Anne Bolin hanging in the staircase. Anne, a wife of Henry VIII, was accused of being a witch and subsequently executed. Harry Potter intros become darker every year, just like the movies. In the end credits of Goblet of Fire, there is a special feature magical disclaimer in the end. No dragons were harmed in the making of the movie. In the Sorcerer's Stone scene where Neville gets a remember all, he can't remember what he's forgotten, but it's probably his robe, as he's the only one not wearing it. When the smoke turns red, it means you've forgotten something. The only problem is, I can't remember what I've forgotten. In the Sorcerer's Stone, you can see McGonagall's name on the Quidditch trophy right next to James Potter. I didn't know. The way Harry, Ron and Hermione wear their scarves and ties reflect their personalities. Victor's more of a physical being. <laughs> I just mean he's not particularly loquacious. Mm -hmm. Mostly he watches me study. It's a bit annoying, actually. In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, before Harry gets sucked into Tom Riddle's diary, he's in a candlelit room. When he's in the diary, everything is in black and white, yet we can still see the candlelight flickering on his body. I don't have a home to go to. They wouldn't really close Hogwarts, would they, Professor? I understand, Tom. But I'm afraid that Master Dippet may have no choice. In the Goblet of Fire, a reflection of Nagini slithering can be seen in the Warner Brothers logo. In Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry wears button-down sweaters at the Team Dumbledore meetings, similar to what Professor Lupin would wear. This was Daniel Radcliffe's idea, as he thought Harry would want to emulate his favourite teacher. Not really. So, um, come on then, Nigel. Give it your best shot. The title of the second film in the Fantastic Beast franchise, The Crimes of Grindelwald, contained the Deathly Hallows. In Prisoner of Azkaban, Newt's commander appears on the Marauder's map. In Snape's death scene, there's a Gryffindor scarf hanging up in the background, a reference to his bravery, and Dumbledore saying he sometimes thinks they sort too soon in the books. The Elder Wand cannot serve me properly because I am not its true master. The Elder Wand belongs to the wizard who killed its last owner. Hermione's hair grows throughout Deathly Hallows Part 1 to show how long she, Ron and Harry have been traveling in search of horcruxes. Pick them up, Draco, now! Well, well, well. Look what we have here. It's Harry Potter. It's all bright and shiny and new again. Just in time for the Dark Lord. Call him. 
In Prisoner of Azkaban, a wizard, played by Stone Rose's frontman Ian Brown, is reading Stephen Hawking's A Brief History of Time. In The Half-Blood Prince, when we see Tom Riddle's childhood bedroom, there are seven rocks on the windowsill in the bedroom, foreshadowing Riddle splitting his soul into seven horcruxes. You're the doctor, aren't you? No. I'm a professor. And I believe you. She wants me looked at. I think I'm different. Well, perhaps they're right. I'm not mad. Hogwarts is not a place for mad people. Hogwarts is a school. A school of magic. In Harry Potter and the Deadly Hallows Part 2, Snape is still helping the Order of the Phoenix when he redirects McGonagall's spell to his fellow Death Eaters. When Oliver Wood releases the snitch while teaching Harry how to play Quidditch, he immediately loses sight of it. But Harry keeps his eye on the snitch, highlighting his future talent as a seeker. And we win. Chamber of Secrets has a post credit scene that reveals the fate of Gilroy Lockhart. In The Deadly Hallows Part 2, you can spy Lucius Malfoy's Azkaban prison number tattooed on his neck. The Ministry of Magic's access code is 62442, which spells out magic. In the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry's car burns because Quirrell has his back to him, meaning Voldemort, on the back of Quirrell's head, is facing him. Harry, what is it? Where shall I Nothing. Be? Nothing I'm fine. In the Chamber of Secrets, one of the options on Molly Weasley's magical clock is prison. It's not much, but it's home. I think it's brilliant. Where have you been? Harry, how wonderful to see you, dear. Beds empty, no note, car gone. You could have died. You could have been seen. Of course, I don't blame you, Harry, dear. They were starving him, Mum. There were bars on his window. Well, you best hope I don't put bars on your window, Ronald Weasley. In Goblet of Fire, we catch a shot of the Deadly Hello symbol way before we even knew what they were. In Prisoner of Azkaban, the bartender makes a bottle disappear. In the Sorcerer's Stone, school children wearing green school uniforms walk by the reptile room. This is a nod to the Slytherin's house color being green and their symbol being a snake. Move! 